I first experienced this potato side in Paris and thought it the most delicious potato dish I had ever eaten. I had no idea that this dish had its origins in New York and Las Vegas steakhouses, and it isn't French at all. This recipe comes together with little effort and very few ingredients. To make this classic steakhouse potato dish, you will start with three to four pre-baked, cooled, russet potatoes, a generous amount of salt and pepper, one finely chopped, medium-sized shallot, one cup of grated, sharp, white cheddar cheese, one half cup of sour cream. You'll also need a prepared baking dish and two large forks. The first step is to grate your pre-baked, cold, russet potatoes. And now this recipe does require a little planning ahead because you do need to have your potatoes cooked, baked, and cooled for at least four hours before you can start this grating process. I like to bake my potatoes the night before I'm going to make this recipe. We're going to grate all four of these potatoes into our bowl. Make sure you've scrubbed your potatoes before you bake them because as you can see I'm grating my potatoes skin and all. Once your potatoes are all grated, this is where your forks come into play. We're going to be tossing all of our ingredients gently using these two large forks. So we'll start with our generous amount of salt and pepper. Next we'll add our shallots. And now using the forks, gently lift and toss. The key is not to mash the potatoes or smash the potatoes, but to keep the potatoes as light and airy as possible. Once you're happy with your mixture, it's time to add your one cup of grated sharp white cheddar cheese and again using your forks lift and toss lift and toss gently and your final addition is your half cup of sour cream that you have stirred until it has a nice smooth consistency put it into your potato mixture and again using the our forks we will gently but thoroughly incorporate the sour cream into this mixture Incorporate your sour cream. To me, this is the hardest part because it's easy to get heavy-handed and start mashing your potatoes, so be gentle. And once you've completely incorporated the sour cream, and you'll just know when, it's time to place them in the baking dishes to bake. Our mixture is beautiful, and it's come together nicely. And again, very gently. You don't want to press this down. You want to keep it light and airy. And you just want to pile your potatoes into these baking dishes. So compress a little bit as you're baking. These will go into a preheated 425 degree oven for 20 minutes to a half an hour. I'm making two separate smaller dishes, but you can just as easily put this in one larger. Usually served with steak, this versatile side dish goes with anything. You can't go wrong with potatoes and cheese baked up in a casserole. This is sure to become a family favorite.